just a little more and boom. <laughs> Every city with one of these eyesores stuck in the middle of it, from Canabras to Nerosian, will turn into smoking craters, and all the mortals into red sludge beneath our hooves. You? Gross. So you have a choice. Especially you, my pet. Kiss me on my dainty hoof. Pledge your loyalty to Baphomet. what she's doing well quite what am i doing to it probably the same thing i did to many of your comrades sweetly and tenderly persuading it to abandon the mortals and join our side prepare to fight to the death demon we won't let that happen we won't fight yet oh, okay You feel a sudden rush of a wild rage, and with it comes a feeling of monstrous, unbridled, destructive power. It is like the power you felt in the Shield Mage when you were confronting Salvamelech, and now it feels more fully fledged, more conscious. Um. Hmm. Tell her to shut her filthy mouth. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Make me. One of the sweetest spoils of war is gloating over your broken and humiliated enemy. You want to deny me that pleasure? I will remember these words, scum. And I will say them back to you. I guess we're, yeah, we're succumbing to this rage. We're going for it. If you're sick of talking, why do you have to listen to her? Why can't you crush, rip, devour whoever you want, whoever is in your way? A malevolent roar erupts unbidden from your throat. Hey, are you all right? If you're planning on going berserk, don't forget who's friend and who's foe. There she is. The demon! Go get her! Succeeded a wheel check. Oh my. I wonder what would happen if I had failed it. I wonder if I would attack them. You send the troublesome dwarf sprawling to the floor with an elbow to the face. The time for chatter has passed. The demon, that wench, she must die. The rage bursts free. You want only one thing to rip the Nago's horns from her skull and shove them down her throat. Wow. So we're just really going all for it here, aren't we? Time to practice my combat so abilities. Oh, so I, I just went into a rage. Okay, the power of the abyss curses through the demon waiting to be unleashed. The demon can enter a demonic rage as a free action. The demonic rage lasts until the end of the combat. While in rage, the demon gains plus two bonus on attack rolls, damage rolls, cast levels, and reflex saving throws. DC for all saving throws against the abyss spells and abilities are also increased by two. These benefits increase by one of the sixth and ninth mythic levels. Interesting. So it's rage, but without the minus two, with some other bonuses, and also without the minus two to um, oh, and I'm attacking way in front of my party too. This is super interesting. Head on. You've made your choice. Four combat maneuver defense. Okay, so that's not happening. Is this also attack with CMD? Yeah, it does. Wow. I shall survive this whole 
tired of playing around now. You want to know what will happen when I'm done with the Wardstone? Here's a little demonstration. Going into a rage and attacking her seems like it didn't work. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. The demoness whispers a spell, and a wave of darkness sweeps through the chamber. Your companions wince in pain, but it is nothing compared to what you think. Thousands of voices once again burst into your mind, drowning you in their moans, screams, and sobs. The pain rocks through your skull. Uh, you will pay for this, demon scum. You will pay dearly. I will dig out holes where your eyes should be, and pour hot coals in them. That's really nice, Windrock. How inventive. It's true. <laughs> Powerless rage. I love it. Threaten me more. The world of voices is bunch of people that are asking me to show this to me. Praise Iomade, you woke up. Healing your wounds was easy, but you were unconscious for so long, I was starting to worry we'd lost you. We couldn't stand up to the demoness. Her spells were too strong. <sighs> it's all right. We'll handle it somehow. You blacked out, but Staunton and I managed to get you here to the Defender's Heart. It used to be a tavern, but now it's our headquarters. We're gathering our forces here, and we're preparing to strike back. Uh, here's the cultist dispatch that I found. Demons have been filling Canabras with their spies and infiltrators for a long time. Unfortunately, I don't have enough people to attack the place right now. At least not blindly. I'd be grateful if you snuck in there and scouted out the situation. But just scouting. Don't be a hero. Okay. What's the Bad, situation? but not hopeless. We're constantly getting news, and new sources of resistance keep springing up in the districts where everyone seemed to be dead. The survivors are gathering here. You should see them. Their faces, their eyes burning with determination. The city is destroyed, but our resistance is not broken. We will keep fighting. And where do, what are we doing next? You heard what the demon said. They're going to desecrate the Wardstone and blow up the whole barrier around the World Wound. That would be an even worse disaster than the World Wound's expansion before the Second Crusade. Not only Canabras, but every city with the Wardstone will be destroyed, including the capital. We can't allow that no matter what. We will retake it, even destroy it if we must. Iomade's gift must not become a weapon of the Abyss. All right. Um... I guess I can ask if I could... Would I offer help? I don't know. I guess we'll offer help. First of all, we need to decide what to do with the stone once we get it. What I'm about to say is classified. A traveler came to the city recently. A blind elf calling himself the Storyteller. He insisted he be allowed to examine the ward stone, and he raised the alarm when his study was finished. Even before the demon attack... He had found some damage or flaw in the stone. Prelate Hulrun dismissed his words as nonsense, borderline blasphemy. But between you and me, the prelate's opinion isn't worth much. I think the storyteller knew what he was talking about. We could use his advice right now. If only we knew where he was. <laughs> I remember the storyteller spent a lot of time talking to Staunton, a dwarf from my unit. You saw him during the demon attack. The elf asked him about the history of the Crusades. Maybe the storyteller told Staunton something about where we could find him if anything happened. There's another problem. After the attack, the demons began to gather their forces at the Grey Garrison. It'll be even harder to take them with a head on assault. But I once heard soldiers talking about a secret entrance to the Garrison. Trouble is, I have no idea where to look for it. 
While you explore the city, please keep your eyes open in case you find something we can use. Okay, we will do that. And one last thing. The Eagle Watch has lost a lot of soldiers recently. Some were killed, but others simply haven't been seen since the attack. In the chaos that is now Canabris, it's next to impossible to confirm anything for sure. <clears throat> one of the missing fighters is Janna Aldori. A new recruit in the Watch. She got along well with Sila, and she often went drinking with her. I honestly thought Sila and Janna had died together. But now Sila's returned with you and there's no sign of Janna. If you learn anything of her whereabouts when you're out in the city, please report back. Okay. Everything May is May the clear. goddess help you. We're still fighting, which means that Kenabra still hasn't fallen. If you come across any groups in the city that can fight, send them here to the Defender's Heart. We'll need every fighter we can muster for the final assault. Yes, one more thing. If you're in the area, check out this address. It's our house. Mine and Anevia's. Well, it was our house. If the building is still standing, open the hidden compartment in the kitchen. It's filled with supplies for a rainy day. You can take whatever you find. You have more need of it. Okay. We have a personal chest. What do I put in here? Um, that is going in there. Oh, yeah, we got. I think these are DLC items or pre order items. I'm not sure what these are. Wow. Decent knowledge arcana. Unable to identify boots. Yeah, it doesn't say what the role was though. It just says that I failed it. Hmm. Wonder what I needed. Uh, any other name? No, I think that was it for my name stuff, right? Yeah, okay. Put those two things in there. Plus two confidence bonus on persuasion skill checks. And put some head chompers in here. Get a little baby owl bear running around. Oh, owl cat, sorry. A pet owl cat running around. And we'll give you the natural armor. Media. Mind if I bend your ear about something? So the first and most important thing, Beth gave you a crucial mission. I get that, and I know you'll get the job done. I saw you in action, but here's the rub by sending you out on an errand we're weakening our defenses here. If they come at us while well, you're gone, I don't know if we'll be able to fight them off. Uh, well, when do you think they will attack next? Their guess is as good as mine. Might not be here. They could attack the whole damn city. Those vermin... No, they've lost the upper hand, and we're going to push back hard. If things kick off here, you should know after they attack, some things could be changed beyond recognition. So if you've got any business that needs taken care of, you better do it soon. Uh, all right. Uh, do you want... Oh, everything seems clear so far. What else do you wish to discuss? So the rift the beetle left at the site, the owl cut the city in two, and it's kind of difficult to get across. My scout tell me, scouts tell me there's a halfway decent place set up in a, to set up a crossing in Market Square. Not that any of them tried it to make sure, but if you've got a mind to go across, I think you're going to have to eventually, you might want to give the square once over. Okay. Thank you for the warning. Uh, 
Uh, Orgus, you owe me some money. Here, take this. It's 2,000 points. Uh, take your payment. Remember, Horgus Squirm always keeps his word. You helped me back to the surface, and I duly paid you for escorting me. Now, speaking of our future cooperation, I have a job that would be perfect for someone like you. Naturally, I'll pay generously for your services. Um, excuse me, what do you mean, someone like me? For an adventurer ready to sell their soul for boots, then lie down drunk in the gutter. Or do you think you're somehow different? A traveling knight, perhaps. Noble of heart, but without a coin in your name. You seem a reliable enough ally to me, and you did get me out of the Mongol caves. So why should I care what you do with my money once you've got it? I succeeded a perception check. Morgan seems like one of those people who think the entire world owes him something. Notes of hysteria. So he's actually nervous, but he's trying to hide it. Okay. Uh, so this job. He shall be my bodyguard, you see. I have good reason to return to my mansion here in Canabras. I still have... Well, it doesn't matter. It's none of your business. My mansion is a breathtaking building with a large garden in a wealthy part of the city. Even before the demons attacked, every thief and fraudster in the city had tried to get inside one way or another. I shudder to imagine the state it's in now. <clears throat> I have little hope that my guards were able to hold the mansion during the attack, and I expect that the servants fled when they saw the demons. Only Abadar knows what's happened there since. Therefore, I would ask that you meet me at my mansion and guard me there while I complete my business. I already asked the local paladins for help, but there's no desire to set foot outside the tavern. Cowards and traitors to the earth. Also, please do take Camellia with you. I trust the girl more than the rest of your gang. She is of noble birth, after all. Uh, reward. A thousand gold coins. Uh, really, Horgus, we just talked about this and we doubled it. Um, oh, wow. So I have to roll a 14? Double the roll or don't think about it. Ah, not even close. I rolled a two. Ah, yeah, right. For that kind of money, I can hire Queen Galfrey herself to guide me. A thousand is my final offer. Um, noble birth, by the way, doesn't give you the right to behave badly. Oh, really? How impudent. No one dares tell Hargus Worm how to address the rabble. Oh, fine. I'll proceed to my mansion at once and wait you there. Meanwhile, you didn't worry. I know the city like the back of my hand. Do hurry, unless you want me to lower your reward. Leveled and he didn't. That. Oh, he no, he must level with me, right? Yeah, he doesn't have experience. He's not level, so when I level, okay. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Level three. Oh, actually, you know what? Yes, we are gonna close that. Uh, I need to go here. See we get at level three. Um, yep, we'll take Arcana, we'll take Lower Nature, and we'll take Persuasion. I still don't know what I, what I want the weapon focus on, or if I want a weapon focus on anything. take Ironhide and just get one AC.
guess I could do armor focus on medium armor. Um, defensive combat training. Was something that allowed me to cast spells without taking the attack of opportunity from it, but it doesn't look like there is. Which is a super bummer. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what do I want? I don't know, I don't want to do weapon voice here because I don't know what kind of weapons I'm going to be using. Um... Let's do toughness and give me a little bit better more uh, hit points for it, I guess. Still trying to figure out exactly what the fuck I'm doing here. You are also going to level up. And you're going to get, yeah, so I want to use Furious Fall, because that will let me add my decks to my trip attacks, which is going to be super good. It's going to make them a lot better. Okay, who's next? Wendwag. She gets armor training. Yeah, point blank, point blank shot and precise shot.
sure about the ranger, because obviously you can get the animal companion eventually. Except that it would only be, it would be three levels weaker than me the whole time. I don't love that. I don't, do, I guess, well I guess she can be? Oh yeah, cause she's neutral evil, so she actually could be a druid. Also make her so I'm going to slay her, but I'm then going to get a heal out for I got sneak attack though. Maybe we'll st keep sticking with fighter and work on being the ranged. Uh, this might allow me to use some armor three that would be useful. Uh, more nature and perception, I guess. Be a little better. Um, Let's get rid of it, shot. Pull out the hit points she's got now. I am definitely trending towards chaotic evil. Uh, Camellia, stick with the spirit hunter. Religion and a point of trickery. Then you get weapon choice on your rapiers. If you're right. Kids, I can probably not hurt enough to ride yet. That's cool. Never stop learning. Wait, yeah. Uh, onward, Sila. She gets Aura of Courage this level. She gets Mercy and Divine Health. Immune to diseases. Okay. We're at third point of ability, so I can use uh, defensive defense CS. She's going to be a longsword user. Longsword. Okay. 
Oh, man. Oh, there we go. I got my... Did I find the free dancer's boots? Okay, sure. I think that is going to be it. Because I am tired. So let's go ahead and stop that. So. That is going to be it. Have a good day.